Hey y'all, this is Sergeant Dan with Palmetto Edge, and today I have a Benchmade for you. This is the uh, fairly new Benchmade Mini Volation. Let you get a good look at it here on this side, then I'll put it down, and we will do our typical size comparisons here, and I will use my same two typical knives. There it is up against your Spyderco Paramilitary 2, and up against your Benchmade bug out this is the uh, blackout one from blade hq um so yeah as you can see it's kind of uh kind of in that same uh size area there um let's see let me get one more out here to compare it to and i'm gonna keep this one hanging around because i'm gonna reference it again here shortly there it is up against the bench made volley all right so there you go as far as specifications um, this one is uh, 7.67 overall blade length with a 3.2 inch, uh, excuse me, 7.67 overall length with a 3.2 inch blade length. Uh, it is CPM S30V steel, which is fine by me. Um, it is an axis lock, but it is an assist. Uh, I think they call that the axis assist, maybe. So it is an assisted open knife. Um, it has full stainless steel liners. Um, well, almost full. There's there's a little bit of some kind of grooving, milling, whatever in the back there. Uh, aluminum scales on both sides. A deep carry pocket clip. And it is tip up only, but it is right hand or left hand. So for you lefties out there, this is a knife that you can set up for yourself. This is totally ambidextrous. It does have a carbide glass breaker on the end there. Um, made in USA, which, as I've said just about every time that I've mentioned that about knives, is always, always, always a plus. Even despite the controversy that Benchmade's gone through recently, um, it still means that they're giving Americans jobs, and I love that, okay? Uh, something that's hard to complain about there. Um, I think that's about it as far as specifications. Oh, no, one that I do want to mention. Uh, this one is uh, 4.58 ounces weight. And the reason why I want to mention that is because you can feel that. It's a heavy knife, okay? Um, so we'll, we'll, I'll use that to transition into my review here. This is a heavy knife. Um, I don't usually mention weight in my reviews, but some people that's a big deal and it, when I notice that it's heavy, and not that I hate it because it's heavy, okay? As a matter of fact, this is probably easily one of my favorite Benchmades that I own now. I really, really love this knife. But when I no notice and go, ooh, that's, so, that's heavy for, such a, for, you know, for a knife that size, then I feel like it's something that maybe I should mention because there are people out there that don't like knives over a certain weight or, or use this... Uh, weight to blade length ratio and stuff like that and I'm sure this one might fall outside of that uh, those parameters for some people um, so like I said I love this knife guys uh, it does have two flaws in my opinion one is a physical flaw with the knife that I will address um, I wouldn't quite say it's a big deal but it is definitely a deal of some sort, something to be aware of. Uh, is it a is it a deal breaker for me? Absolutely not. Like I said, this is still, uh, or now anyway. Oh, I forgot I locked it. Now one of my one of my favorite bench maids, um, and this one has gotten a lot of pocket time and a lot of use since I got it. This thing is sturdy. It is tough. It is a beast. It is beefy. It is built like a tank. And those aren't usually things you hear from uh, when someone's talking about a mini version of a knife, okay? Keep in mind, this is the mini Volation. Um, the full-size Volation, you get another, I think it's another half inch on the blade here, okay? So it's, it is a significantly bigger knife than this. Um, I have never had my hands on one of the full-size Volations, okay? So I can't say how this one feels compared to that to one of those okay I hope to get one in my hand soon I, I really like this one so I'm thinking I might like that one too and might wind up bringing one of those home eventually um let's see uh what are some things that I really love about it uh 
It is in Benchmade's black class. It is a tactical knife, and I I agree with them on that as far as their classification goes. Uh, one knife that they have that I disagree with that they claim is tactical is the uh, Rift. Uh, if you haven't seen my review on it, go check it out. That's about the only Benchmade that I own that I don't like, and I disagree with their classification of it. Okay, and um, this one I don't though. It, I totally agree that it's tactical. Um, it's got, uh, what, and you know, what do I typically look for in a tactical knife? I look for a knife that is easy to open one-handed, easy and dependable to open one-handed, okay? Um, so this one being an assist, and I know there's people out there that hate assisted knives. I'm not one of them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I kind of like the assisted nature of some knives because, you know, like this one, for example, barring some catastrophic malfunction, okay? I know that it's going to open when I want it to open, okay? Now, getting it closed, that's another, you know, minor deal, okay? But the main thing is getting it open so I can use it. Um, you know, for example, another one that I really like, uh, the bailout. So say I'm, I need a knife and I need it now and I need it to open and I need it to open reliably. And I get my bailout out and I go to open it and I don't get it quite right, okay? Now I'm trying... If I'm not paying attention, which, you know, given given the situation, it might be a situation where I'm not paying attention to w whether my knife's open or not, okay? And I go to use it, there's a chance that it might come up and slice me wide open, okay? And that's not knocking this knife, okay? I really love this knife, too. But I'm just saying that's one, that's one thing that I do consider with a tactical knife. Now, this one doesn't have that feature. Does that mean that I don't use it in tactical situations or think that it fall doesn't fall under the tactical class? No, absolutely not. Okay. It certainly has some other ones that help it get in there. But this one is one that that assisted open feature, I love it because I know my knife's open. I know, you know, like I said, barring some catastrophic malfunction, I know it's open. I know it's ready to go. Okay. Um, another one is just the overall construction. Like I said, this thing is beefy. It is, it is a tank. Um, now, no, it's no Adamus, okay, but still, it's it's it is solid. It will do whatever job you need it to do, okay. Um, if you need it to cut some paper, it'll do that. If you need to pound a nail into a piece of wood, <laughs> I don't recommend doing that with your knife, okay. But I mean, it's it's just it's it's hard. It's tough. It's it's sturdy, okay. It's beefy. Um, has deep carry pocket clip. Love that. Love Benchmade's deep carry pocket clip. Um, so that's definitely another plus. Um, one thing that I wasn't real sure of to begin with with it is the scales. Uh, they are aluminum. And as you can see in places, they are slick aluminum. And even here where it has some grooves, they're not grooves that go uh, perpendicular with the overall knife. They go parallel with it, okay? So I was a little worried about that, um, thinking that man might, might not be able to get a good grip on it and good traction to be able to hold on good, but you absolutely certainly can. And that has to do with the way it's shaped. Um, so if you'll see, it's not only got this um, area here that helps keep you from sliding up, okay? So you, you got you got a good grip on it there, but it has grooves all along it here that help get your fingers in the right places. And then you've got the overall shape of it, okay? You've got this thin area here, and then it thickens and tapers, and then tapers again into an even thinner area than up here, okay? Um, I wish I had a... a Crap, y'all, what's that thing called? The things that you clamp on stuff and it tells you how thick they are. You know what I'm talking about. I can't think of what they're called right now. Um, um, dang. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. All right, the typical, typical Sergeant Dan. I can't think of the names of stuff when I need to. Um, but anyway, even without those, though, uh, calipers? Even even without those, though, uh, you can clearly see the shape of it here and how 
this end is thinner than this end and how it thickens up for uh, to help fill up your palm okay and uh, so just the overall shape of it just really helps you stay on it stay on it good get a good grip on it um, the pocket clip is a little in the way um, I wouldn't quite call it hot spot um, but you can feel it you know um, when you're squeezing tight you know you can feel it um, but man the the liners and the scales are lined up perfectly there's no rough edges on it anywhere except for you know your glass breaker back here um, let's see uh, I think I said this already, but this has gotten a lot of use, a lot of pocket time, and actually a lot of harder use than I would typically put one of my nicer knives through. And that's just because uh, I feel like it can take it. Not that I don't feel like, you know, some of my others can't take it, you know what I mean? But I don't worry about it so much with this one uh, because it's just, it's built like a tank. Um, let me bring my volley back in here. So this is... This is another one that I, I got out a minute ago to compare it to. Um, ah, I think I said I have two complaints about it. I have three complaints about it because I just realized and remembered another one. Um, so uh, this one, the volley here, is my only other assisted open bench made, and I love it. This was this was my first bench made that I ever got. Um, was this one. Um, I love it. It's always going to have a special place in my heart. Always going to be one of my favorite bench maids. But there is one noticeable difference between the two, and that's the action. The action on the the volley. Now that I've had a volation here, it seems a little little slow, little sluggish compared to the volation. The volation just wants to slam open. It's it's a noticeable. It feels noticeably different. The the volation feels noticeably stronger uh, as far as the deployment goes than the volley. Um, and again, that's not knocking the volley. That's just saying this one's got a good action. This one's better. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh, ergonomically. I, th I can't remember if I mentioned this or yet or not, guys. Sorry if I'm repeating myself on this one. Ergonomically feels great. Uh, it's just the right size for my hands, and remember, I wear large size mechanics gloves, if that means anything to you. Um, so, I mean, it feels great in my hand, fits perfectly. Um, I love this little area on the back here, the little, this little cutout area. I typically tend to, to rest my thumb in it. Um, it's a good spot for it. Really like that. Um, so... Now, oh, the safety. I, I, I never use the safety on it, okay, but it's there if you want it. It's there if you need it when it's when it's locked. That blade's not coming open. If you've got it disengaged and the knife open and then engage it, that knife is not closing, okay? So the safety does actually work. It does have a purpose, even though I don't use it. Um, now, with that being said, let me engage the safety and we will get into my complaints. So my first complaint is this right here. I have the safety safety on so that knife's not opening. However, watch this. It will open enough to expose the tip of that blade. You see that? So it it doesn't keep the knife just totally locked solid in place. It will open that far and when it is open that far there is that sharp tip of that blade sitting right there just waiting to slice you open. Okay. Um, that's not good. <laughs> uh, for, you know, it's not a big deal for me because I don't keep that safety on. Okay. So, you know, even, even with the safety off, you can get it to, you know, you can get it to that point. Okay. Um, so, you know, and, and that would apply for any knife. Okay. You know, Manix 2XL here, I can get it to that point, okay? Uh, but if you're someone that feels like you got to use the safety and you rely on that safety to keep that blade from opening at all, 
that's just something to to keep in mind that even though that safety's on the sharp tip of this blade will potential can potentially be exposed okay and that's enough to get on you and slice you open okay won't be a deep cut but it'll cut okay so that's my that's one complaint and that one's kind of the one that I said it's not a big deal but it is some sort of deal um come on focus there you go buddy uh my second one is that the uh anybody anybody see a pivot screw yeah, I, I don't either. Um, and that's actually something that I did have to do with this knife when I first got it. Uh, speaking of that, no blade play now, okay? No blade play in any direction now. When I first got it, there was a little bit of blade play, and I wanted I wanted to fix that. And I went to go get my uh, Torx, and I went to go... Oh, dang, the pivot screw. Is it on the other side? Nope. So the pivot screw for this one is actually under the scale so if you want to adjust on that pivot there's no quick easy way to do it you have to take the scale off to be able to get to that pivot screw um so that's that's kind of a a negative in my opinion there's no reason why they couldn't have milled out a hole there to be able to get to that pivot screw um and then third uh, the third thing i don't like about it that will transition me into my typical third segment of my reviews is the price the third thing i don't like about it is the price on Blade HQ, this knife is $208.25. That is too much <laughs> for this knife. Um, in almost full disclosure, okay, that is not what I paid for it. Uh, if, you, if you don't know, I'm a police officer and Benchmade has a discount program for military, law enforcement, first responders, stuff like that where you can buy the knives directly from them at a discounted price. So so that's actually how I got this one. Um, I did not pay two hundred eight twenty five dollars for it. Part of the deal is that I can't tell you how much I did pay for it, so I'm not going to discuss that. Um, however, the price I did pay for it is where I feel more like this knife should be, uh, generally retail, okay? Um, I just think $208 for this knife is too much. Uh, especially when you consider for $216, you can get the full-size version. Um, and now, I've never had my hands on one of those. I don't know how much knife you're getting with it exactly. That that might be too much for one of those, too, okay? So that's the third thing that I don't like about this one is the price. Um, sorry, I just I just think $208.25 is too much for this knife. Even though I love this knife, even though it's one of my... Easily one of my top five favorite bench maids now that I own. That price is still too much, um, in my opinion. Okay, uh, yeah, you're getting good build, good quality. You're getting bench made um, customer service and warranty with it. Uh, but I just, I don't know. I just don't see. I don't see two hundred and eight dollars here. I see maybe hundred and. Maybe, you know, if it was 175 I might would be more okay with that. If it was 180 maybe, uh, you know, definitely rather see it around 160 or so, okay? So, you know, that that's about where I feel like this more should be. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, take that, take that as you will. Um, it's a great knife. I love it. Uh, if something were to happen to it, uh, where Benchmade wouldn't take care of me, uh, take care of it, you know, under their warranty or something, would I replace it? Yes, I would. Um, and I, you know, I'm sorry. I would, I would order it again directly from Benchmade at the discounted price that I can get it for from them. Okay. Uh, but if it were, if Benchmade, let me put it this way. Since Benchmade still has that program, yes, I would. If Benchmade were to do away with that program and I had to buy it at the two hundred eight twenty five from regular retail, honestly, I probably wouldn't replace it. As much as I love the knife, that's just too much. That's just too much for it, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm going to have to leave it. It's It's got, you know, a flaw, a a, a flaw, okay? And the retail price is too much, okay? 
but I still love it. I still really, really love this knife. Okay. Um, so guys, thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check out my uh, Instagram and my Twitter. Both are at Palmetto Edge and y'all have a good one.